So for the next step of this project, you're gonna need the image that you traced. So again, this is just me tracing the white, gray, and black values from the image of Dr. MLK that I altered in Photoshop. You'll need a piece of paper, just a blank piece of paper, or this could be the moment where you grab a piece of canvas, or maybe you wanna work on the back of a jacket, or maybe you have some other surface that you wanna work on, but whatever it is, this is good. And you're gonna need a piece of transfer paper, which looks like this. Now, from what I understand, if you don't have transfer paper of your own, you can also make your own transfer paper by taking a piece of computer paper. All right. You can also make your own transfer paper by taking a piece of computer paper, coloring it completely dark with something like an ebony pencil, and then using that as transfer paper as well. Because transfer paper, as you can see, all I did was touch it and my fingers already have this graphite on it. And so with transfer paper, the trick is, number one, you wanna make sure that nothing moves, right? So I usually will place the image down, transfer paper, dark side down. So light side up, dark side down. If the dark side is up, you won't be able to transfer an image, so the dark side has to be down. And then on top of it, I would place the paper that I just traced, just like so. And I like to tape it down again, just because it's just really annoying to work really hard on something and then realize that you completely missed and you somehow drawn on the table and not, yeah, you don't want those problems. So boom, just like that. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually trace my image again. Sometimes I recommend that you use another color, so maybe oh, When you're working on top of transfer paper, you it doesn't matter if you use a pencil or a marker or a pen. Ideally, you want to use a pen or a pencil, anything that has a point, because essentially when you're pushing down, that's how the image is getting transferred onto the next paper. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to retrace everything that I just did with another color onto transfer paper, hoping that it ends up on my image under. And you want to press really hard, not hard enough to rip the paper, but hard enough so that it um, it makes an imprint through the paper onto the surface that you're working on. So now, once you're done tracing it, you wanna remove your tape carefully, maybe keep it nearby in case you need it again. You're going to lift up your tracing paper. Um, as you can see, I traced it in another color so I could distinguish from what has been traced and what has not been traced. Sometimes when you trace with the same color, you think you've i um, gone over it for the transfer, but you actually haven't. So that's a, something that might be helpful. Then I lift up the transfer paper and now I have like a very messy, but I have my image. And now for the last step, I'm just going to go ahead and put the same color values that I see in the original piece that I edited onto this piece. <laughs> 